Hey everybody, Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. Hope everyone's doing well today. I thought I'd do a quick video, system update video for May 2024. Not a ton has changed, but there's a couple of things you might be interested in. As you can see, my ELAC Debut 2.0 F62s are still in service, as is my big DefTech Powerfield subwoofer. Uh, and there's a cool little box on top of the DefTech we'll see in just a minute. In the rack, and I'm going to start over here, this is my Harman FL8550 five-disc carousel. Now, I use it as a transport with a coaxial going out to an upward deck, but it has dual Burr Brown R to R DACs built in. So it's a good standalone player I can use to measure against outboard DACs. Really sounds quite remarkable. Then in the rack itself, down on the bottom, we have a Cambridge MXN10, which is on loan from Cambridge. I did a review on it. It is a network player. Uh, I have it connected with its line level output into my amp. I also have the optical out going to a standalone DAC. Then the Harman Kardon FL8385 disc carousel, which has Burr Brown DACs, but they're standard Delta Sigma. I'm using it as a transport only, and I take the coaxial spit-off output up to an external DAC. Then my Fluence RT84 turntable with the Audio-Technica AT VM 540ML cartridge, which is really, I love that. Next shelf up. Oh, something new. In addition to the Bifrost, the shit Locus EQ, my little PC that runs the whole show, I have a Gashelli J2 AKM 4499 socketed DAC in for review. We're burning it in right now. I have the optical out from the Cambridge MXN10 going into it so I can compare internal DACs against external DACs. And so far, so good. We'll do a review on that. That'll be coming up soon. I've got to give it a good listen. I want to do a fair uh, review on it. And I'm also going to get Sparkos op amps and we'll do a, a swap. So I may do a review with the standard TI op amps and then a second review with the Sparkos in it. And then, of course, my very favorite, one of my most favorite pieces ever, the Cambridge AXR100 receiver. I love this thing. And then on top, you'll see a little level control. This is, if you watch my video on how to get free surround sound, you'll know about that. It was linked in that video. Now, one of the things I did do, and one of the few changes I made, is based on a video that Randy Messman, Cheap Audio Man, and Declan, and I can't remember his name, is an Australian bloke, they were in Penang, Malaysia for a show, and they were talking about USB cables, and they were talking about USB cables impedance and specifications. Now, when I bought the Shit Bifrost, I had purchased from Shit one of their PIST cables, P-Y-S-T, I think it is. It's a, It was made by Straightwire. It's a USB A to USB uh, B uh, cable that has a correct USB 2.0 specification and impedance. For the other DACs that I had in the system, because I have a bunch, I've been using just kind of standard printer cables. And so what I did was I ordered a couple of more of those uh, shit pissed cables, USB cables, and I've swapped them out because they are the correct impedance and they are the correct spec. So we'll have to give them a good listen to see what we find out about it. So moving back, and if I can walk backwards without tripping, that'll be an amazing, amazing feat if you know me. I told you I had something cool in on top of the Definitive Technology subwoofer. That's a Cambridge Evo 150 network, all-in-one, amp, DAC, streamer, everything. It's in for review. I haven't finished my review on it. I'm still writing it up. I've done extensive listening tests. I actually had it up in the rack, and I've taken it out and put it here so I can do some side-by-side -side comparisons with it because it's a little easier to get it connected up. Um, it is, uh, it's an interesting piece. To steal a line from Steve Guttenberg, this thing put me through some changes. And we'll talk about that in the review, but it's quite wonderful. So anyway, that's the system for May 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe. And by the way, thank you so much. We hit 1,000 subscribers over the weekend. And that's just wonderful. I'm so grateful for the time you guys give me. Um, I, I'm humbled by it. It's amazing. So please like and subscribe. Please comment. Any of you who have commented know I read the comments. I respond to the comments. If you ask a question, I try to get you the right answer. And if I don't know the right information, I'll try and find a source so you can get that correct information. Because as much as I think I know everything, uh, I don't. <laughs> Just ask my kids. Anyway, so that's the system update for 20, May 2024. Thank you so much. I am so grateful for the time you guys give me. Uh, and this is Ed Holmwood, the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel, signing off.